Joining us now is David Balavia, former U.S. Army Staff Sergeant and Medal of Honor recipient. David, I know you actually have met um, Congressman Waltz, Governor Waltz, recently. Uh, what was your impression of him and his military background? You know, look, I, I hate going after veterans. It makes me sick. It really does. It's not a good look. It's not good for the, for the generation of the global war on terror. And there's been a lot of things said about the governor. And, you know, look, some of them you could play off of misunderstanding, bios, changes, all that. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Here's what I can't forgive, what no combat veteran can forgive. When your unit in 2006 is deploying to Iraq, we have to stop pretending that this is you know, a wake-up call at 5 in the morning, everyone needs to be on a plane, we're leaving in three hours. The retirement packet alone takes months to process. You knew that your unit was deploying. One of the first soldiers to die in the Battle of Fallujah is Stephen Falkenberg. That was mm. my command sergeant major. He died at the tip of the spear. I can't think of anyone that wouldn't mm. want to deploy with their surrogate children. That's what a sergeant major is. He's our, he's a, he blots the sun. That's the pedestal we put our sergeant majors on. It's unfathomable that you would let your boys go without you. I, I know so many men and women that miss birthdays and anniversaries and chunks of their lives. You've had guests on your program mm. that have missed years of their families' lives. You knew what you were doing. You wanted to run for Congress, and uh, that speaks volumes. Now, the Washington Free Beacon um, obtained the media kit, David, that Walls distributed in 2006 that included misleading descriptions of his military service, saying a March 20, 20 2006 Wall Street Journal report included states that Waltz served overseas during the early war in Afghanistan. Another from the January-February 2006 edition of The Atlantic describes him as a command sergeant major who just returned from fighting the war on terrorism. Now, David, media gets stuff wrong all the time. I get things wrong. We do. We're human beings. You know, we all understand that. But do you not have an obligation, and certainly your staff, I'm sure the staff must have brought this to his attention. Well, look, we got to correct this. This is leaving the impression that you were over there, and we know what we mean when we say over there, not to dismiss any contribution at all, as you're right, uh, David. But he didn't correct the record, and to this day, it looks like it's not corrected to some extent. Yeah, that's the unforgivable sin. Right now, he has an obligation uh, to just set the record straight. You hold a press conference, you, hey, some information went out there. Uh, but let, let's be totally honest with ourselves. You don't find a lot of people that see the world the way that Governor Wall sees the world that have been to combat. These are people, uh, let's remember, as a congressman, he voted to defund the war in Iraq. He voted against the surge. He was part of the group that called General Petraeus, General Petraeus. And this is an individual that also sees the death of Soleimani as some embarrassment on the world stage. Soleimani killed our friends. Soleimani killed soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I don't, for the life of me, understand why it's so difficult. You face the music, tell us what really happened. Uh, it's a one-day news cycle, but again, it just feeds into the narrative that they don't understand the warrior class in America, which is why President Trump overwhelmingly has support of combat veterans. Well, in the two minutes that Kamala spent today, David, with the media, she addressed sort of the Walls controversy watch. Some of the criticism has been about your vice presidential pick and his leaving the National Guard at 24 years. Vance said that he deserted his own troops or his own colleagues. What's your take on that? Listen, I praise anyone who has presented themselves to serve our country. And I think that we all should. Well, David, she didn't answer. Obviously, she's just refusing to answer legitimate questions about misstating the record about his military service. No one's saying that it's not wonderful to serve in any capacity. In fact, we're saying the opposite. Um, so, so all, she's, all, all they're going to do is we praise him for his military service. Is that good enough for the hundreds of thousands of men and women serving our country today and who've served our country uh, who are wondering what's going on with this? Well, of course not, because that's not why the Democrats are using Governor Walz's service. This is supposed to be 
uh, a platform to lecture us that the foreign policy of the way we left Afghanistan is okay. We're supposed to forget that seven American soldiers were just hurt by Katusha rockets in El Assad Air Base. Well, that's really fascinating because El Assad seems to be in Iraq and we're not in Iraq anymore. So why don't we have the Bagram Air Base? These are the questions that Governor Walls is going to use and say, as 24 years as a command sergeant major, I have subject matter expertise. You are losing the ability to have that subject matter ex expertise and to lecture us. And again, I just find the whole thing disingenuous. Hold a press conference, explain what the record is. Your failure to do so, to me, speaks volumes. We have an oath and a creed, an NCO creed. We will not use our grade or position for pleasure, profit, or personal safety. That is a part of every creed a non-commissioned officer uh, recites. That's our blood oath. That's what we swear to do. It's hard to say unless, of course, a seat opens up in the first district in Minnesota, and then you're on your own. Well, the NCOs, the command sergeant majors, of all the <laughs> officers I had the great privilege of meeting in, when I was briefly in Iraq in 2006, they were the coolest, absolutely the coolest, and just adored them. Um, David, thank you for explaining this and for honoring the service of all men and women in uniform tonight uh, with your very, very common sense words. Thank you, David. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.